This video covers the basics of building, editing, and sending custom email reports. Email reports are custom reports that encapsulate some of the data that's been captured in your, as a result of your marketing activities, visitor traffic, or what have you. And you send these reports to a list of constituents. Examples may be daily lead roll-ups to a, a sales manager or a month-end report. Uh, marketing agencies typically have to do month-end reports to their, their clients, uh, etc. And uh, this tool, the email report tool, makes it very easy, as you will see, to customize your reports and uh, customize the schedule, etc. To get to email reports, they're under analytics, email reports. You click here, you're going to be presented with this view here. The view is email reports. This is a table of the reports that you've built in the past and email schedules. This is where you're going to schedule delivery of the reports. You click the new email report button and you're presented basically with a list of templates just like anywhere else in the product where you're building um, emails. Uh, and uh, uh, you can customize the template, save your own templates, all of these things that you're familiar with in building emails. I'm just going to go ahead and edit one of the reports I've built before. Once the report is loaded, you'll see the header information for sending the email because this is an email report. Um, and if you collapse this, it is the standard email editor that you're familiar with in other parts of the product. The big difference is what content blocks are available to you for the custom report. And as you'll see here, the dashboard widgets, many of the dashboard widgets that are available uh, in your account are actually available as content templates for your report. And if you're familiar with building emails, again, it's just rows and columns uh, or specific rows that um, uh, layout blocks rather that uh, you drag onto the template, uh, whether it's a four column row or two column row or what have you. There's content blocks inside these rows. And for a custom email report, you're going to be taking data that's been captured uh, in the dashboard widgets that you're familiar with. And it's very simple. Um, basically, you take the widget that you uh, want to have in your report and you drag it from the, uh, um, the right and you drop it onto one of the content targets on the, uh, on the report and uh, it'll, you'll be presented with an image of, a graphical image of what the report will actually uh, uh, look like, or I should say the widget will look like. Um, but when you send the report or preview the report, it'll actually, Active Demand will take the data uh, that is available in Active Demand and actually populate the widget with the appropriate data with the time range. So that's one difference between a regular email and a, custom report email is the data widgets that you can bring into your report. Second thing you'll notice is that there is a time range and if you click here you can set the time range for the report. All custom email reports have a time range that ties together to the report. All of the data widgets are by default inheriting from the time range on the uh, that is set for the specific report. Another difference as well is you can download or save the report as a PDF document. Now, uh, if you've used the data widgets before, of course, each widget has its own time range. And by default, like I said, you, it inherits the data range for the report. But you can actually customize this. And each of the data widgets has an advanced edit button or icon rather. And depending on the widget, there's different, uh, there will be different options that you can change by pressing the advanced, the advanced uh, uh, icon here. For example, this tabbed widget, there's several tabs you may want to present. And if you click here, one is you can select the date range, either inherit it from the, um, the default for the report or specify um, a subset or some other time range. But also, if you take a look, there's several tabs on this report and you may want to select, uh, for example, in this one, the email tab as the one that's actually presented when the report is generated. 
other widgets have different uh, features, like for example, the donut graph will have where the legend is placed. Um, as well, the campaign widgets, you'll select the campaign here for the specific campaign widget to present the data on. Most of it makes sense. It's a case that it's really the time ranges, the specific elements that you want to select for the uh, for the widget and uh, uh, for when the, the, the report is actually delivered. So, and typically you'll want to customize the style of the report. Uh, we can inherit it from the, if it, this is an agency report, you can actually inherit it from the agency brand. Uh, or you can customize the, the report anyway, just like any email, uh, based on just clicking on the, for example, the row styles, the column styles, or the content block styles. And if you press the preview button, this will bring up a preview of the report with the actual data populated. To send the report, this is for sending it once, uh, once off, you can select uh, um, any employee of the organization that of the account you're currently selected under or any, uh, any contact list that's been tagged as either a marketing or a sales list. You cannot send these reports to generic contact lists, which uh, really is a uh, safety feature, so you don't end up sending a marketing report to your entire contact database. The contact lists and the contacts that show up here are employees of, the, of your organization or people that are inside a contact list that's been tagged as sales or or marketing. So once you've created the report, and uh, there's many uh, um, very dynamic fields, for example, that are available to you for the report, like, for example, the report start time, the report end time are both dynamic fields that are available to you, um, uh, as you see here. And uh, really the idea is, is that you build this report once and it uh, uh, takes some of the data from the the dynamic fields and it builds a custom report every time it's sent. So again, you can send the report uh, once by pressing this, uh, clicking on this icon here, or as you'll see in a second here, you can build um, custom schedules for delivery of the reports. Now, I'm just going to close out of this and move to the next section here, which is scheduling this uh, and sending your email reports. <clears throat> so again, you can just open the report, send the report as a one-off, once a month uh, type of thing, or you can build a custom schedule where the email report is sent with the date range set in the schedule to a list of folks that are expecting the report. So I'm just going to build a new report schedule here. So this is going to be a daily report, so I'm a daily uh, uh, lead report, and uh, re frequency here is daily, and you have a choice of what is the frequency and a specific date and a time. I'm going to put it at, say, 8 in the morning. So now there's also, remember, a report has a date range, and you get to select what the date range for this custom schedule is, and this one really I'm just going to put as the last seven days. And uh, as well, the audience, I can pick a uh, list of folks. Again, the audience is a, uh, uh, any employee of the organization or a list that has been has the target set as marketing or sales. And once the report schedule has been built, um, I'm going to, of course, pick the, the report that I built that's going to be sent. And there's a daily leads report that I built uh, before this video. And it's important to understand that a schedule can be inactive or active. You can only edit inactive schedules. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this, and then I'm going to uh, uh, save, uh, save, the, uh, save the schedule. Once you have this set saved, I'll close it. Now I have a, a report schedule. It's going to send it to this person, Dweezil, and Dweezil will get this specific report with the date range of the last seven days. And again, with that report, I could have went in and customized any of the widgets in the, in the report. It doesn't have to be in the last seven days. You, again, uh, it's a case that uh, you can override the inherited uh, time range for the specific report as you saw just a few moments ago.
Now, speaking of contact lists, uh, it's important to see that, again, like uh, uh, I mentioned, that you can only send these reports to people who are either employees of the, of the company, uh, the account that's selected, or are in a list of people that, um, uh, have, that uh, uh, have a target of sales or marketing. And this is where you set the target. So if you set the target as sales, or marketing and or marketing, this list will show up in um, one, the drop down for sending the, the custom reports or two in the schedule for sending out the reports. Again, this is just a protection mechanism to ensure that you do not send your marketing reports to all contacts in your database. This concludes this video of building and sending custom email reports.